Hello everybody, Average Gamer here, and welcome back to a quick little video where I get blocked at- there we go. <laughs> uh, Rob here, and today I wanted to go over some more, um, investment stuff. Um, you'll notice that the noise in this is a little weird. You might hear a little bit of a humming in the background. That is one of the fans on my computer, um, has seemed to have decided to break, um, about- it's like 30, 40 seconds before I started recording. So just that little, wow, that's the white in my beard. <laughs> uh, just a little heads up there. Um, wow, let's not, let's not do that angle. Wow, I broke, I broke it. Oh, it's the reflection from my screen. Okay. Well, anyways, I'm just going to be a partial headless thing. There we go. That was weird. Anyways, so today I want to do a quick little video. It is April 7th. The video should be coming up on the 7th. Um, it should be coming up later today, but I'm going to hope so. I did it. I got into some crypto. Um, here are the five coins that I have right now, how much I have in them, how much the current price is, and what my allocation is associated with each of the five. So right now, it's not crazy. I've got basically about a dollar in Bitcoin. Um, it went down four cents, uh, immediately after I got it. Yay. But, I'm up on the other four. Uh, I did originally a dollar of Ethereum. I'm now at a dollar two. I did a dollar of Shiba. I'm at a dollar five. I got a dollar of Dogecoin at $1.18, and then I did $20 of Cosmos, and I'm at $22.83. Now, that one's a little different. So I haven't been telling people this, but this is um, going on now for two months, three months, and I've been kind of keeping my mouth closed. So this Cosmo coin here, I'm doing all this via Coinbase, by the way. Funny thing about that. So it pays me 5% an annual return in the coin, um yearly so on average i've noticing that i've been getting every seven days around three to four cents worth of coin so that's why i'm at 22.83 um i originally put in 20 bucks but between the three cents here every basically three cents almost every single week um for the last two weeks um plus the fluctuation of the price has actually got me a two dollar and 83 cent um increase which is pretty pretty good as for our investments themselves. So here's the total allocation right now. What I've been trying to do over the last little while um, is change the way I've got my diversification. Um, you may notice I have five additional stocks since the last time I talked. Um, I've got, um, let's see here, American Hotel again, finally, back to back to American Hotel. Uh, that was a stock I had prior to COVID. That paid, I think it was like 11.7% um as a dividend monthly um right now it's doing 4.7 percent um or one and a half cents per stock right now it's nothing crazy um wait no that's wrong yeah no one and a half cents per stock um that will bound, that's bound to go up the reason why i say that's because like i said prior to covid they were paying 11 percent. right now it's four percent um i'm only making like 30 bucks or 30 cents a, a month off them right now, which isn't too crazy. I mean, the stock itself is only three, th uh, 380, so there, just went up. Um, all purpose Bitcoin ETF, I got some of that. Uh, purpose Ether ETF, got some of that. Um, don't think they show up. Yeah, they don't show up on this. Uh, let's see here. Roger Sugar Incorporated, got some more of that. Uh, had that before COVID. And now I'm getting it, getting in back into it again. Now they're now starting to pay up a, uh, a dividend. Algonquin Power and Utilities Corporation, going back into that. Um, another e-share company, or a split company that does uh, Class A shares. Got a couple of those. Uh, the Real Estate uh, Corporation of Canada, and then the Canadian Bank Corporation. I got that, and I think that's it for what I've added since the last uh, time. Yeah, overall, doing pretty good still. Um, if I look up how I'm doing on the year, basically the last three months, if anyone's interested, I'm doing this on the other screen because there is some like private information on there. Uh, I'm up 225 bucks on the last, uh, so far in 2022. So since January, um, I'm up 
225 bucks over the last year so year to date from yeah actually from today uh, up $778.91 or 18% so far. That's pretty good. And all time, um, since getting back into investing after a little bit of a issue there with COVID, we're up 780 bucks, which is pretty, pretty good in my opinion. Today, not so much, down almost $28, but eh, what are you gonna do? We're not here for the short run, we're here for the long run. So that's the, the whole point there. Um, but yeah, I also broke my rule of preferably getting monthly dividends versus quarterly. Um, Roger Sugar and Algonquin Power are both quarterly dividend payers. They're not monthly dividend payers, so there you go. But what I've been trying to do over the last little while, and as you can see in this, in this little thing here, I've been trying to diversify a little bit better, and I've been trying to basically get an even roughly amount weight-wise or diversified-wise for everybody first. So I've got my 25 stocks that I'm going to be shooting for for the next maybe year or two. And my plan now is to get them kind of diversified a little bit. Um, I want them anywhere between, I think it's 3 to 5%. Give me one second here to take a look. Uh, doo -doo 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 -doo. You know that moment where you do something and you forgot what you did? Condi is it conditional formatting? Here we go. Um, so, if we go into this line here, there we go. So basically, if I'm looking at preferably um, stocks that are anywhere from one and a half percent to four and a half percent of my weighted allocated amount. So this doesn't really show you the full allocated amount, mind you, but just to give you an idea. So FTN here, which is right here, FTN is sitting at. I hope that's not loud. FTN, where are you? That's currently sitting at 7%. Obviously way higher than I want it to. Well, something like uh, the Bitcoin ETF, that's sitting at 2.56%. Now, mind you, some of these things are really crazy. Like, for example, the biggest one here is Slate Office, which is at 8.82%. Where are you? SO2 rare. And then SGR as well. Um, which is at 8.24%. So what I'm trying to do is basically get everyone around in that, what I call the, the green zone for overall allocation. The reason why, because I don't want one specific stock to drag me down, um, which will happen if you have too much money in one specific stock and not nicely spread out um, all over the place. Think of it as a, um, as you're walking down a path or driving down, like driving down a street in a car and there's a pothole you know that one pothole if it's big enough is going to cause massive problems for you and it's going to basically suck everything in and get the water basically and just keep getting deeper and deeper so basically what i'm trying to do is get everything kind of very well diversified so we got 25 different stocks and then my plan is to have anywhere from one and a half to four percent of the overall value in those stocks now right now i've got three i have six stocks that i need to bring up in the overall amount. I also need to turn off my screensaver. Thank you. I do ribbons because it's the only one that works on all three of my monitors. Um, all the other ones just pop on one monitor or just, yeah, just basically monitor number one and then uh, the rest just sit with a kind of this whitish black screen. And uh, yeah, anyways. So yeah, so I've been trying to diversify a little bit better and all that stuff. With that in mind, here is the current growth um, that I'm looking at when it comes to all my stocks, when it comes to revenue and overall earnings for the companies. So right now I'm averaging a 45.7% earnings growth for all the different companies. Mind you, one of the reasons why this is so high is because of COVID. Over the last two years, obviously, a lot of these companies, their growth has just dropped like massively. So that's not surprising what i'm more looking at is these two numbers right here so the overall past average was 9.3 and overall the market average for all these companies was about 10.9 percent of the canadian market basically this is obviously due to covid so i'm expecting more of a line of maybe an average between these three so maybe nine and a half nine nine 9.75 ish percent no big deal and then I'm basically i'm looking at something like this where i'm expecting growth i'm expecting earnings growth and revenue growth um but because of COVID, the numbers are kind of out of whack, so I'm expecting this maybe to drop this down to maybe, you know, 9.7. 
Um, nothing too crazy, nothing too, you know, monstrous. Now, this here is my overall current value or price versus the overall fair value. So right now this is all five companies combined, if I'm not mistaken, what their projected value is. So not what their current, or sorry, what their current projected value is versus what they're actually worth. So the, the current price projected is what the price should be, not what the market wants. So right now, each stock combined should combine to a $1,773.64. In actuality, right now, what the market is asking for is, one second, is an error. We're going to say G2 did G26. Uh, some. Yeah, so right now, the overall generic value is 225.14. So that's if I have one stock in each of these companies. Now, it's looking at that and going, okay, well, hold on. 225.14 times the amount of stocks you have, etc. It's, it's stupidly processed, but basically it's saying this is generally how much the stocks should be worth. COVID has knocked the prices down, etc., etc., etc. And I'm going to fix my screen. There we go. So, roughly, this is how much the stock should be worth. Or right now, because of COVID and all this jazz. If you had one stock each, this is how much they're roughly worth which is completely incorrect but <laughs> with what i have but this is then saying what the fair value of each of them is so if i actually go and get my program software here uh we'll pick uh, algonquin power so right now for example algonquin power um, is currently trading at a price of $20.05. See, this is where it's weird. When it comes to all your stocks, this number gets kind of skewed a little bit, but yeah. So it's currently trading at $20.05. Its very value is $27.41. So basically $20 of that into $27.41 of that. So basically right now, uh, Uncle Power, in the opinion of the software and all that stuff, is 26.9% undervalue sorry that was my bad so that is actually the price of each one i must have screwed up my math somewhere yeah but yeah so the overall current price of all the stocks one at a time all combined is this this is technically what they're all worth so if i look at it i'm looking at this going okay well if they're 48.2 percent currently undervalued obviously because of covid we have a massive, massive growth potential on our hands, which is pretty good. Um, though obviously this is still at the whim of the market and, and all that jazz. So this is what it actually is currently worth. Sorry, I thought it was what it was valued at. There's an actual different thing that I have where it's the projected dollar, sorry, I was thinking of projected dollar value at the end of the year versus the current price value. I was looking at the wrong thing. I'm sorry. That was my bad. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually pretty happy. Um, currently, my all my assets are undervalued by 50%. So in my opinion, or my thoughts there is, okay, so COVID obviously knocked the values of the, of the stocks down. So give it, you know, another year or two, and we'll be back up to the values we want. 50% hopeful. You know, positive thing. You never know. Because of COVID, it may have just knocked the prices down permanently. And now they have to slowly climb back up to the pre-COVID numbers still. Um, a lot of companies are still, still, still plugging away. Still getting there. Um, but yeah, overall, I'm doing pretty good. I'm liking the way things are going. Uh, we're still growing, obviously. Uh, once again, the plan for me personally, when it comes to my investments, is my plan for retirement. Um, as of today, I am 1%. 1% to my goal of retirement, which is an income of $3,000 a month 
after taxes. That is the key. After taxes. Uh, right? After taxes, yep. So right now, for example, um, I'm earning per month. Uh, let's see here. We're getting a return of roughly, on average, 3%. So we are looking at a return yearly of 10%, um, a monthly yield of 0.8%. Uh, so we're looking at on average roughly around right now 50 bucks. Now mind you, that's going up and up and up and up and up. But I'll actually show you my returns from last year to this year. Whoops, wrong button. Just to show you. So when I started everything back up again in January, of last year, we were making 28 cents a month. You see that, you know, all the different stocks we have. Then, by the end of the year, we were making $45 a month. Uh, where was the big, like you just see, it's 28 cents, $2.25, $3.93, $5.97, $17.19, then $35. Then $35, $36, $38, $41.45. So 45.34 was the number for last year. Then we're at 44.42. I had to sell some stocks. Um, I'm not going to get into the reason why, but we did. I had to. Um, so 44.42, then 44.71. So you see a little bit of an increase. And then 46.06. And now this month, the dollar to one. <laughs> this this month is a little different because I haven't, you know, I've only got one stock to pay out. Um, so. <clears throat> As long as, in my opinion, I'm seeing at least a two to three cent payout increase every month, to me that's good. Um, you know, no mortgage or anything like that. So what I've been doing is a lot of my spare money has been going into these investments for retirement. That's the key, right? Retirement. Total, so far, I've made $416.72 in a year and three months. Four months, technically, I guess you could say. So, so far, so good. 500 bucks in, in a year and a bit. Um, and that money basically is just put right back into the investments. Sheer profit at that point, uh, which is good because this way they basically the stocks are buying themselves. Um, at 40 bucks a month now, I can sit back and be like, I want that one, that one, that one, and that one this month. And then that's it. Um, then including the amount I put in every month, that'll just help it snowball. And, uh, you know, compound interest is the name of the game, basically. Compound interest. With that in mind, I just want to say thank you, everybody. If you have any questions or anything like that, put them down in the comments down below. Um, if you like this, please hit the like button because um, that tells me that I'm, you know, I'm doing good. <laughs> uh, or at least that you're enjoying this. Um, yeah, if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you next time. I hope the fan isn't annoying. Bye-bye.